MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies Baseball next on The Show. Jared Eichhoff through the pitching in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a really solid season. What shows me that more than anything? Solid three to one strike out the walk ratio. And if he continues to do that, he'll pitch really well in this one. Into the box, Starling Marte. He will lead this one off Leading today. Off the afternoon for Arizona, the center fielder, Starling Marte. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Forsyth ranging into the outfield. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Batting second, the left fielder, David Peralta. Now at the plate, David Peralta, career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's hitless in three at bats. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able, those are the tough ones, but they should be able to put this one behind them. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Peralta has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. There's a shot out to right center field. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Let's take another look at just a textbook the swing right there. The good weight transfer, the good hands to the ball, solid contact, the ball. and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Eduardo Escobar standing in as he'll take a look at ball one. and the 1 0 pitch that ball dude. that's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning runner in scoring position already and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitters count to first Hoskins grabs it cleanly and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Striding in, Christian Walker. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Outside that ball. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. The 1 0. Drilled on the ground to short. Segura has it. Close to the first, but he's called out on the side as the tie. So they're able to get the runner to third in the opening half inning, but can't bring him around. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Zach Gallen gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, it's been a rough goal for this guy, man. His last three starts. Last three starts, he's taken the loss in all three. So he'd like to turn that fortune around in this one today. And the best way to start that, throw up a zero in the first inning. Digging in now, Gene Segura. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Hurrah. 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. There's a fight at the bat. Right? That's taken. Now it's 0 2. Segura behind on a one and two count. One ball. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Here's the pitch. Now that's popped up. Throw to first oh. is in time for the first down. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Peralta is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Bryce Harper will dig into the plate and show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. There's a swing, and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, and that one without a doubt is gone. Solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper, number 249 career. Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter running to the early in the game, and he does just that. Blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The average hit and right at 270 on the year. 18 homers and 46 driven in. On ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Hoskins tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. Two out, nobody on. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Right side. He's got it. Step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1 0 Philadelphia. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. He'll get us started in the top of the, the second. second Scooter Jeanette. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope, at the ball. Ball 
two. I can't tell you how big a pitch that is right there to be called the ball. 2-0 as an offensive player, man, it's almost 70% fastball. 1-1, he opens up the entire arsenal to get you out. Two balls and a strike to Jeanette. That is a pro pitch right there. 2-0 curveball for a strike. Make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. 2-1 and one on its way. Cole Calhoun will be next. and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Anytime the pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going That's to be a good. tough pitch to hit. The that one was good. spot on. Oh, we have no answer for good. it. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. And he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. The numbers coming in, 278 the average. 15 long balls and 43 RBIs. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. One out, nobody on. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, back. Now, Lane Carson Kelly, as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Into the corner and slicing foul. Kelly hails from the Prairie State of Illinois. He was taken in the second round during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Ready with the one and two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. Two two. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Calhoun, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Outside at a full count, 3-2. and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good, good chance it's on the ground for a yeah. double play. And a right. strikeout always works too. At the plate, Nick Ahmed fouled off. Takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here comes the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Ball inside. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one two. 
And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. One left for Arizona. They still trail one nothing. Second set to go, and digging up the play will be Justin Turner. The third baseman. Justin Turner. First pitch on its way. In on the hands of it with a fastball, it's 1-0. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. 1-1 one, one home. It's taken for strike two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. He gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with the changeup. Chopped to third. Reined in. Good throw gets him one gun. That is good. The center fielder, Jay Root. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And stepping in the dangerous left handed hitter, Jay Root. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nope, outside. Ready with the 1 0 now to Bruce. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, 1 and 1. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Shot towards first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on He's first out. himself for the out. Batting set. The catcher. Zach. Collins. Digging in, Zach Collins. He drove in three of his team's four runs in last night's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's a ball. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. One ball, one strike to count. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. All even now, two and two. Swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Zach Gallon. Nine, one, and two are due up. Zach Gallon. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Hey. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And he fouls this one off. The 
one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now that's the way it ends. They're down one nothing already. But he makes the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Digging in next will be Starling Marte, fouled away. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Marte brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. One and one to the D-backs leadoff man. And nobody out. Hey. Called strike two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first down. Up next to the diamond back, the left fielder, David Peralta. So stepping in, David Peralta, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Here's the 0 1. And you look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. the one and one pitch. Now, two one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Now the two one. Get hard back up the middle. Segura gets down on the ground. Oh. Brick play. He's there and he's out. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Oh man, once it got past the pitcher, I figured it was a base hit, but then the shortstop comes out of nowhere to make the diving stop. That was incredible. So here's Eduardo Escobar as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's set and the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Count one and oh. Men on third with two down. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Here's the 2 0. -oh. Outside, Whoa, 3 out. and 0 oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. That's now low. Back it's down ball four. four. And they're at the corners now with two away. Up next to the diamond back, the first baseman, Christian. Digging in for a second at bat, Christian Walker. comes the first pitch. And this is cut on the missed below the knees and it's all one. Runners at the 
corners, two men out. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for the ball. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Three and one. Here's the pitch. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely yeah, no part of the three or four ball hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy, the five ball, is just as dangerous. So here's Scooter Jeanette. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Zero. Here's the pitch. And oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. So important gig ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by pulling behind in the count. The 0 1 offering. This is on the ground is short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. We're back now as the Phillies prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. Coming into the day, they are up near the top of the league in home run production. So it's certainly safe to say they're a fun bunch to watch swing the bats. When asked about their success with the long ball, one player told me, yeah, home runs are fun, and they can change a whole game. So when we get a pitch we can do damage on, you better believe we're looking to launch. Matt, back to you. Thank you, Heidi. Way to go. Billy. Bottom of the inning the now. Base. And that'll give way to the Logan. veteran second baseman, Logan Forsythe. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there, strike one. Hey, I don't care what league you're in, American, national, if you're playing on Mars, if you get a heater down the middle of the plate as an eight-hole hitter, you better be swinging the bat. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1. One, one. At the ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Taken. Strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout two here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. Last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Payoff pitch home. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Forsyth. Tired and there's one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Jared Icon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. And it's one and one. One ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. Bases are empty, one man out. Rounder down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that meter coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage to head out and drive it Jun Segura.
first pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. In there, base hit. Hey, this guy's been slumping at the plate. Saw his average fall below 240 prior to this at bat. That not had bad rules. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Clearly working him out of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Runners are at first and second with one away. Too Ball high, three. and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mile more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone, and you don't know why. Four, four. And he misses with it. Ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he's trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. To hell, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs.
bouncer up the middle. There's Segura. Ah, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught as that'll be an infield single. Oh, there's a ball in the infield base hit right there. That kind of reminded me of the old Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter on that jump throw. Hey, that's why this is the pros. Back in the day, that's a knock all day long. But up here, guys are making those plays. At least making you think about them. That's an amazing play by the shortstop to leave his feet and at least make this close. Carson Kelly is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. it up one and one from the belt the pitch Aye. both clubs with three hits in the ball game Good change up, a swing and a miss, and he set down on strikes for the second time today. Into the box, Nick Ahmed. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Pitch on its way. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. The pitcher not able to get a glove on it. The hard pitch single up in the Yeah, watch your lips Dad. right there, Dan. Sent it yeah. back right where it came from. Plate now, Zach Gallon. And he tries to move those runners up a base, but this is a foul ball. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Here's the 0 1. Misses the bunt attempt, and we'll see what's up now on Hogan 2. I mean, he's got to hunt better pitches in his own to get a sack bunt down. Going to be interesting to see if the manager keeps it on right here or lets him swing away. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Oh, and did he square around? No, it's ball one. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. He squares and it's in the air. And he makes the catch. Two away now. The battle. The cover field. Follow. Here's Starling Marte. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Runs four hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Behind 0 and 2 now. Oh and two, here it is. Hit on the ground to third. That will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Phillies one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yeah.
yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Justin Turner. Justin Turner. Ready. Here's the first offering. Count one and zero. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Go Philly! Grounded back up the middle. Med fields it cleanly, and the throw to first is in time. One gun. Now batter. So one away in the inning, and here's Jake Bruce. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One oh. One run on three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Lays off two and two now. So he's working full now at three and two. High in the air out to center field. Under it now is Marte to pull it in for route number two. Now batter. The pitcher. Jack Collins. Riding in once again, Zach Collins. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to oh, cheat to no something this evening. One and oh, the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, up top, it it's two and oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. Now here's the pitch. He's well, falling behind now, point. three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that. And he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Payoff pitch one more time. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Just hung in there on that one. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Grounded to third. half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. Phillies lead this one one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Well, Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the D-backs offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Thank you, Heidi. Stepping in and ready for another he shot, for David time. Peralta and Dan he and his fellow good. top of the order good hitters good. haven't really offered much help Peralta. for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. First pitch on its way. Left side, but well fouled. The wind up and the 0-1. Now a fastball off the plate away. Ball and a strike. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Harper. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So the still nothing game. against Number him five. on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the lead That's leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see there that they're currently residing in second place in the NL in that category. <laughs> so the base is empty here with one away. And that will bring up Eduardo Escobar. Here's the first pitch to him. And ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. He'll get it into second. And he is in there. Now that is a struggle that time for him in center field and as a result of the tag with the E8 on the play. Stepping in now, Christian Walker. And he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. to deliver the 0 and 1. Walker, Pennsylvania native actually. He was a fourth round selection during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, when you come out in the middle round, you have to grind for everything. And that's exactly what this guy has done. And he has turned himself Whoa, into yeah. a solid big ball player. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. And they take the lead. It's gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, and even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And the Diamondbacks move out in front. It's now two to one. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what you got. A really bad result. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Scooter Jeanette. And the starter remains out Indeed. there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. And he takes ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. A couple of right-handers starting to loosen up.
the 1-0. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone one for the first strike. Right. Still only one out in the inning. That ball Two and one. Two one. on the ground up the middle and that finds its way through for a base hit you don't get too many pitchers a day in the big leagues middle now oh, his eyes lit up right there this pitcher is lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire Francisco Liriano enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning Now, Cole Calhoun fouled away. Hey. It's taken. Now it's 0-2. Runner at first here, one man out. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Oh, and two, here it comes. Taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a now really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Standing in now, Carson Kelly. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here comes the 0 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Owen oh 2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Nick Ahmed as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Segura fields it cleanly to Forsyth for the force and the end of the inning. 
Diamondbacks pick up a couple courtesy of this two run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now two to one Arizona. Digging in, Logan Forsythe. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. The second baseman, Logan. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. Again, another foul ball. Hit in the air out to left field. Peralta is under it. One down. The pitcher, number 47, Francisco Mariano. Howie Kendrick will come on now as a pinch hitter, so that'll spell the end for Francisco Liriano. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Was he ever fooled on that pitch? It's 0 and 2 now. Kendrick, a native Floridian, he was taken in the 10th round during the 2002 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he got. Number two. You don't deal with a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit in the short ones. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that will bring in middle infielder Gene Segura. to swing it here in the Arizona sixth inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. Morin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Yep. 
And a ball and two strikes to the Diamondbacks pitcher. Hit back up the middle. First baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. How about Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infield to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that will bring up Starling Marte. From the stretch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Get hard up the middle, and there's his first base hit in this one. Maddie, that's a surprising pitch right there. I don't understand after now blowing on the fastball by him. His speed is bad up the off speed. Yeah, redemption oh, after being oh, late, right on time with the off-speed pitch next. Into the box, David Peralta. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second. Forsythe has a play. The third base, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Now with the plate, Eduardo Escobar. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt. We don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Out. Segura for one. He laid it first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Uh, hitting an error in the inning, but they failed to score. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. D-backs lead it two to one. Bryce Harper will stand in again. and now it's 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. One, two. Harper swings and hits it very well to right. Back goes Calhoun. And that one is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field, making it an even 250 for his career. And the Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. At the plate, Reese Hoskins. First pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Just 
lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. No outs, nobody on. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And not a bad pitch right there. Off-speed pitch down in the zone. Down he thought he would set that up pretty well. The previous pitch was a real good fastball. Cover. Yeah, I think the hitter was sitting all over that one, Ben. I really do. He saw that fastball up for show. I think he thought to himself, here comes the off-speed. At the plate now, Justin Turner. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Oh, Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both a lefty and a righty up the throw. Two. It's laid off for ball two. Short hit hard. Ahmed has it. Jeanette has it for one. On to first, the double play. Up next for Philadelphia. The center fielder. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you can definitely launch in the right field if you're not under control. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jake Bruce. Here's the pitch. 1 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. And the pitch. Ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. And it's fouled away. The one two. And right into the shift. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Pitch on the way. I got to count. Two and two. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Here now the two-two. Drill to the right side. Jeanette has it. Throw on the first out. gets him, and the side is retired. Bills have come back to tie it thanks to this solo home run. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Morgan Rodriguez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Morgan Rodriguez. New inning set to get underway. And next to battle here with first baseman, Christian Walker. Yeah. He's set. Here it comes. Nope. And this one runs up high. Ball one. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor. One and zero. Oh. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. 
didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. Three and oh now. No break. Two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. three thus far. The 1-0. Fastball. And ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. So a runner at first now with one away, and that will bring in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Cole Calhoun. Comes set. Here's the nothing-and-nothing nothing pitch. Too low, 1-0. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Here's a 1-0 cutter that's low, 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Good comeback there. It's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And it stakes the Diamondbacks to a four to two lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. And he did just that. Now back. Into the box now. Carson Kelly swinging a ground ball to third. So this is foul for the first strike. And that misses one and one. One out, nobody on. Up. 
fouled off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back even now at two and two. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Number 13, shortstop, Nick Amo. Ready for another chance? Nick Amo. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Set and the pitch. Ball, that's inside. The 1-0. Oh. Right. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Harper coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. Now back the pitch that Dell. To the plate now, Zach Gallon. As nope, the first pitch the to him is taken low and away for ball one. Oh, no, right. And an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon. And you have to say he's really earned it. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Runner on first with two away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. One, two. That's a ball. Hit in the air out toward left. And Ben Intendi's got it to end the inning. But the Diamondbacks pick up a couple courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's now 4-2 Arizona. Brad Boxberger gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Zach Collins. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. From the stretch. No good change up there to start in, but it drops into the low for ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Yeah. 1 and 1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peralta is under it. He's got it one away. Now that the second base has Logan. Four stars. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Logan Forsythe. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The 
0-1 delivery. Swings through it for strike okay. number two. Pops this one up. Escobar is there. Two down. Now back the pitcher, Morgan Rodriguez. Corey Dickerson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. He's hitting for the Billy. Number 12, Corey Dickerson. And he fouls this one off. Ready, here's the 0-1. Nope, that's inside. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Two and one. Yep, that ball went out. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Fouled away. Well, somebody sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another change. Ready with another two two. And another foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's fouled away. Still two and two. Guy given in. Here's the next one. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouled off some tough pitches. Two-two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he lays off ball, ball four. four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs, and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible. But that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses. Andrew Chapin takes over here with the runner at first, and two gone in the inning. Andrew Chapin. Gene Segura standing in. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. And that misses ball one. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and oh. From the stretch. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Calhoun coming on. He's not going to have a play on it. And this might bring home the runner from first. In the score is the runner from first. Man, that swing looked like a self defense with a real quality oh, swing, but hey, he knows he's up there and it was meant to give him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that would drive you nuts as a pitcher.
in now. Andrew Benintendi. And so watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. No hits to this point. Here's the 1 0. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. Two out here and a runner at second. Oh, Plays off the slider that time. Two and one. Yeah. Two and two. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing it. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that baby's gone. A two-run shot. Seven home runs for them on the year now as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas. Yeah, man. You know what, d -Roll? We got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game, but boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league. They definitely will tell you they see the ball better in the daytime than they do at night. Oh. Case in point today, ball was not showing off the bats of both lines. And ball, no strikes to count. slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ball three. It's clear he just Down hasn't been able to line. find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots and now he's at 3-1 and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Ball four. And he lost him. Ball four is Harper will reach. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Alex Young takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Alex Young. Hoskins will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Three runs already home here. And he misses again, 2 0. Oh. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. On the stretch. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. We know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Here it is, the 3-0. Ah. 
Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's keyholding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And the runner back safely. Two out with the man at first. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. High in the air down the right field line. Calhoun on the run. And he makes the catch in the corner. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. Philadelphia is out in front now, five to four. Hector Neris has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Starting Martin comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy in. They're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. one -oh home. Whoa, Misses ball two. Neris has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today. At least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor-made, Matty B, to be a relief pitcher. Comes out of the bullpen, guns a blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty, and he gets a lot of swings and misses. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. And in a 5-4 game, let's give you a look at the starter comparison to see how these two guys stack up against one another. Standing in, David Peralta. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man. Base hit into right center. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one. I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Standing in now, Eduardo Escobar. Oh, that, that. So he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. He was a double play victim last time around. One and no oh delivery. One one home. Swung on and missed and that's strike two. One out, one on in a one run game. Pitch there, but it's taken for a ball, and it's two and two to the Arizona third baseman. 
Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. Hit on the ground to third. Turner's got it, and there are two away now. Now that the first baseman, Christine Walker. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Swing and miss. I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. That nibble the corner there, but missed two and one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Carson Kelly would be next. Go, 
ready with the 3 1. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3 1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Now in the box, Carson Kelly. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. game that could decide winning or losing this is one of those critical spots time to make some great pitches ready with the 1-0 oh. outside that's the ball what a great opportunity to come through right here 2-0 count runners on base find something middle of the plate and let it rip 2-0 count, the pitch. 3-0 the count. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. Just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. The walk would be good here, too. And he misses ball again. Ball Take four. Away. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Stepping up to the plate, Nick Ahmed, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. First offering on its way. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Oh, and he takes this one high, one and one. Phillies five. Stepping into the box, Justin Turner. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matt. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Two pitch. And there's a 
swing and a miss by Bruce as he set down on strikes two away. Classic slider down and away from the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Now Ron Washington is out to confer with the home plate umpire. So it appears we'll have a double switch here. Hector Rondon will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Patel Marte is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And batting nine, number four, Patel Marte. Into the box, Zach Collins as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Marte on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Phillies down in order. Still a tight ball game. It's six to five. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring forth the power speed combination. Patel Marte. Marte. He's set. Here it comes. Ninth Eight. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. No, that's that's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. I could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order. Moving. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Nope. And this That's pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up Starling Marte. From the belt, kicks and deals. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting, the left fielder, David Peralta. Runner at second, one away. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. First pitch on its way. 1 0 -oh, 1. Oh. And 2 0 -oh now as this misses below the knees. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's on him. No. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3 0. -oh. Second is in to score. Now a seven to five game. Yeah, and that's a huge five. insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it 
does and it makes your pitchable out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going into one run game where every pitch is so important you're one pitch away from the solo tying the game up that's not the case now. Eduardo Escobar comes on with one away as he looks at a ball it's one and oh. First and foul. The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Segura for one. On to first, and they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Phillies five. Archie Bradley is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Into the box now. Logan Forsythe will be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. First pitch coming. Here it is. Bradley, a six foot four inch right hander. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Wind up and the 0 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Woman, two strikes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back even now at two and two. Little chopper back to the mound. Oh, look at that stuff. And he'll flip on the first to record the out. The pitcher, 64. Victor. Oh, oh. Scott Kingery will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that misses downstairs for a ball 1 and 1. Strike two as it catches the outside corner. Nope. So two balls and two strikes now. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now at two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, the one two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. One half, nobody on. Fouled off. Three, two, one more time. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Three two. Swung on and missed strike three. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game.
game, Dude. which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, can't get on first base if you strike out. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Man, they came in here with a mission, and that mission was almost complete. They've won the first three games of this series and would love to seal the road sweep with a victory tomorrow. Seven to five, how today's comes to an end. Arizona came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Alex Young earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Archie Bradley closes the door for the save, his 17th on the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.